Hey guys, what's going on? It's Travis, aka Dad, here to help you elevate your parenting game. And on this channel, I do family vlog videos where I share my journey as a Christian parent, as well as tips, hacks, and tutorial videos just like this one. If you saw my last video, I did a video just on uh, bug bites and how to prevent them with your kids this summer. I will link that video in the description down below. But thanks so much for joining us. Today we are going to do just a short video on bug repellents. And we're going to talk specifically about the chemicals in them and which repellents you should buy. So the hot topic when it comes to bug sprays is DEET. And if you don't know what DEET is, it is spelled D-E-E-T. And that is a chemical that is found in a lot of different insect repellents and bug sprays, especially here in America. So is DEET safe? That's a great question. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, DEET has been proven safe for ages two months old and older in concentrations 30% or less. Does that mean that you should use it on your children or that it's good? Not necessarily. It just means that it's proven not poisonous in those concentrations. The fact of the matter is DEET soaks into your skin when you apply bug sprays with DEET in it. And DEET in enough concentrations can be poisonous. That's not super enticing when you're trying to protect your kids from bugs, instead covering them in something that is also poisonous when absorbed by the body. So what are the benefits of even using DEET? Well DEET is a chemical that is proven to uh, repel bugs and be very effective for up to eight hours, which is very enticing and has been a standard in the United States for a number of years. But what other options are there if you're not going to use DEET? One of the bug sprays that's actually making a lot of waves in the U.S. market for insect repellents is actually a bug spray that's being used internationally in a lot of different countries and has been for over 10 years. It's called Picardin. Picardin is a DEET alternative that lasts as long as DEET and it is much safer. But it's been such wide, so widely used in other countries that they have vouched for it and it has been proven safe and is definitely an amazing alternative. So if you're looking for bug sprays, Picardin could be the right one for you. That being said, if you're looking for a bug spray that doesn't have DEET, doesn't have Picardin, you just want something that's safe, we picked up something recently called Cutter Natural Insect Repellent. And there are a number of different natural insect repellents out there. So it is DEET free, and that is a big plus. So we wanted to give it a shot, and we've been very impressed with it so far. I don't think it's as good as uh, sprays with Picardin in it. Between the safety and effectiveness, that's probably my favorite but I really like the idea of an all-natural bug spray and this one's pretty darn good. So if you're looking for something that you want to know is safe and that you're into that all-natural organic stuff, this could be the one for you. If you were looking at options like sunscreen mixed with insect repellent to kind of kill two birds one stone, sounds like a great idea but it's terrible. It is actually extremely dangerous because sunscreen is something that you have to reapply over the course of the day because it soaks into your skin, dries up, and you become susceptible to burns. However, insect repellent is not something you want to be reapplying over the course of a day, especially on little kids. Because the chemicals can be toxic and bad for you, you could cause major damage to your children. All right, guys, that's going to just about do it for this video. If you liked it and you thought these tips were helpful, be sure to throw me a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Whoop. I'm glad I chose the hottest day of the week to do this video outside. I'm talking about insect repellent. I've just had like seven bugs hit me in the face. According to the American, 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 it's a chemical called Picardin, not to be confused with Bacardi. No, that sounds like a commercial for an adult beverage. I don't always use bug spray, but when I do, I use Picardin. Yep, that's going at the end of the video. <laughs>